hello, good morning. Um, this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna turn this guy on. So, yeah, I'm gonna start out with a little bit, look at this handy, Ooh. a little bit about me. This is who I am. Um, these are all my certifications if you want to know, but more so I started uh, about seven years ago. Um, I have kind of a different background in that I was not athletic growing up at all. I started parkour when I was 20. I'm 27 now. If you guys want to throw that math together. Um, seven. Yeah. <laughs> seven years ago. Um, <laughs> good. Keeping up. Um, and when I started, I couldn't do a pull-up, which I think I've said around the fire. And I, for some reason, was just really interested in parkour. I played a lot of video games. I was a tech theater person in high school. I went to film school afterwards. And then I saw a documentary. I actually saw Renee Scavington in a documentary as the first person. I was like, what is that? And just completely sucked for years and years and years uh, by my own standards, I would say. Um, so I became very obsessed with how can I, how can I achieve the goals that I want to achieve? And I would say if there's anything that you really want to do that you don't know if you can do, like, I don't know, like I want to do a Colin Gainer someday or something crazy like that, or like I have really big goals. I don't know if I'll hit, but I want to do those big goals. Um, I want to be able to jump 10 feet, broad jump. And I'm at about eight feet right now. When I first started, I could probably jump about five feet. Like I have distinct memories of standing on this ledge that was probably like this far apart and it was this high off the ground and just completely petrified of it. So that's where I started when I started parkour. It was not like, yeah, I love to jump on things. I've been doing that since a kid. My parents can't pull me off of stuff. No, I was like this nerdy, shy bookworm that just was like, what is this? And I need to do this and I don't know why. And since then have discovered for myself why it's so powerful. And that's why I like sharing it. I really like seeing people being able to get what they want out of their life. You know, you have yourself who you are now, you have your goals and there's the actions towards your goals, which are really fun. And, and then there's also the, the just learning to enjoy the process, which is actually really, really hard. Uh, that's been a big part of my journey as well, has been learning to enjoy the process. Um, I wrote down some of my coaches as well. You might know some of those people. Um, some of them are here. <laughs> Uh, I just like to say again, if, if you are passionate about something, be a relentless student is what I'd like to say. Um, be curious. curious. Curiosity is one of the most powerful mindsets you can have because it's humble, but it's passionate. So be, be a curious cat. And that's good. Oh yeah, I'm also not a doctor. Um, I, all of my information here, I'm going over body mechanics. I'm going over like very basic physiology that's been very, very simplified for parkour. So uh, if you ever have like a real injury and it's not whatever's, uh, whatever you're trying to play with it, if some of this doesn't work, go see a doctor. Like don't spend months and months and months being like, I have knee pain or I have uh, I, I had, like, a client who had wrist pain for about two years and I was like, go see a chiropractor and then he found out he had kind of a, sublux a subluxation in his wrist. So I couldn't have, I couldn't have gotten, given that to him, but Go see, go see professionals when you don't find things are healing. Don't wait on that stuff. Don't just like train on your injuries, so, which I'll go into more. But yeah, that's me. <coughs> um, also, I have the uh, Kelly Start certification, Max, which I thought was kind of funny that you were doing this. I'm like, dang, that's my example. Um, <laughs> so yeah. All right, so body mechanics. Um, this is a pretty good picture of what shows body mechanics uh, or biomechanics. Basically looking at the levers of the body, how the body is balanced, um, looking at what it shows, like where, how our body works, um, how posture applies, how balance applies to, to the body, and how you can get power from that. Uh, which leads me to this pretty picture I found on the internet. Uh, <laughs> I liked it. So one big point, I talk a lot about posture. Um, I have a, a big belief that we can kind of intuitively tell when when someone has good body mechanics, like we kind of like, oh, that person's a really clean mover. It's it's because they have good body mechanics. Um, and I kind of believe that form and style do overlap because you can just kind of tell, like if, if you're doing this and your tricks look like this or whatever, and it just doesn't look very pretty. It doesn't look very good to the eye, but it's also because you can kind of distinctly tell, like that doesn't look safe. And I think that's a big thing for parkour is is making parkour look safe and controlled, and that comes down to actually being controlled in your body, down to 
a muscular level. Um, and when I talk about uh, imbalances, obviously I don't talk about this kind of guy of like, oh, I can bicep curl a whole bunch on one arm and not the other, but I'm talking about um, a balance of, a, uh, of your joints. So first of all, producing power. Um, the best analogy I've come up with for this or heard of, it's a really weird analogy, but if you were to stab someone, uh, <laughs> if you were to stab someone, you would want a knife, something that is like sharp and strong and stable. You wouldn't want to like use a noodle, right? And the same thing happens, <laughs> same thing happens when we're jumping. So from now on, think of jumping as stabbing the air. Um, same thing happens with jumping. You want your, your body to be strong and be able to lock down to produce force. Um, so you don't want to be noodling. And you'll see this a lot in students. You'll see some kids who come in and they're just like, that's how they land. And you're like, ugh. So it's all about that finding that balance. And so for body mechanics, having a balanced joint is very important of not being able to just be strong on one side of the body or the other side of the body. And I'll talk further about that. Um, but that's also, your body actually has mechanisms in it where if you are too unbalanced, it will not let you produce force. So, because it's afraid that you're gonna rip the joint out, essentially. And so if you find yourself being plateaued at some goal, whether it's a jump goal or squats or deadlifts or pull-ups even, um, it, might, it might just be that you're imbalanced and your body does not want to produce more force. Um, and this also goes into injuries as well. Uh, the way that I, do strength training, uh, it's, it's just like this mobility. Uh, there is no difference for me between strength training and, mobi and mobility. It's you want to get stronger by eliminating your weaknesses so that you don't get injured and so that you jump really far or so that you climb up really well. Um, so, and I do want to say for this presentation, I want you guys to listen from uh, what, what ails you essentially or what your goals are. Um, like, if you are dealing with knee pain, if you are, if you really, really want to jump far, like me, if you want to uh, do anything, you want to get your twists better, like, listen from that, and that's going to help you more than just kind of, like, listening from a bunch of information coming in and feeling very overwhelmed with that. Um, so, yeah. Do, do, do. So I like this picture. Um, I found a bunch of random pictures on the internet, so I figured it'd be better to point out, like, crossfitters than it would be to point out like my friends doing parkour. <laughs> so um, we'll, we'll be looking at some people. So here's a really good example of how close can I stand? Um, like you can tell instinctually who's, who's, who's a more powerful jumper here, right? It's fairly obvious. Um, you can see that he's putting in more power. He's actually blurring the photo. And you can see that the posture is affecting it. Um, so yeah, posture is important. <laughs> Before we even get into how the body works and all that, let's look at, do you have a problem? <laughs> Most people assume that pain is, is the biggest sign, is the first sign, but in reality, pain is the last sign that your body gives when something is wrong. We are designed to survive, right? We're designed to only focus on so many cues so that we can be very efficient on sur at surviving, you know, whether it's a tiger or a roof gap or something. You don't want to be focusing on all the the cues of like, I need to push my knees out, I need to do all this stuff when, I, when I'm jumping. You wanna be focusing on the mindset that you're working on and that your body instinctively is like this. It's also why a lot of really good athletes have no idea how to explain what they've just done a lot of times. Um, so some signs that you do have a problem going on. Excessive stiffness. Your joints are more stiff than normal. And again, this is very subjective. You need to listen to your body. So I think that's been a big theme within the presentations is like listen to your body, listen to your mind, and just kind of take moments to be like, what's actually going on? Especially during your warm up, maybe your cool down. Um, so excessive stiffness, inflammation. Inflammation is something that I think we don't pay enough attention to, but it's a very, very big sign. We also have weird ideas about what we should do with inflammation. Like, oh, I rolled my ankle, I should throw ice on it immediately. And I'll talk later about why you shouldn't throw ice on an injury immediately. Um, which is basically because it freezes the injury and it freezes up the mechanism of healing. So I guess I'm talking about it now. But um, So when inflammation happens, that's a very obvious sign. Uh, for instance, the shoulder joint does, does not work very well. It'll, how many people have had like a shoulder injury or impingement or something? Or, that's, yeah, yeah, me too, multiple times. Um, it's a very sensitive structure in there. And when you have inflammation, it just pushes everything out. And
Bible says. So if you're looking for